What is foliation? In geology, foliation is the parallel alignment of mineral grains, crystals, or other geological features within a rock or sediment. Foliation can occur in a variety of rock types, including metamorphic, igneous, and sedimentary rocks, and is often associated with regional or dynamic metamorphism. Foliation is typically caused by the application of directional stress or pressure on a rock, which causes the minerals within the rock to align in a parallel fashion. This alignment can occur in several different ways, including Parallel alignment of mineral grains. In metamorphic rocks, the alignment of mineral grains is one of the most common forms of foliation. As pressure and heat are applied to a rock over time, the minerals within the rock can recrystallize and align in a parallel pattern. Banding or layering. In some cases, foliation can take the form of banding or layering, where layers of different minerals or textures alternate in a parallel fashion. This type of foliation is common in rocks that have been subjected to shearing or deformation. Alignment of elongate minerals. In some rocks, such as schist, the alignment of elongate minerals such as mica or amphibole can create a foliated texture. This type of foliation is often referred to as schistosity. Foliation is an important tool for geologists to study and understand the structural features and deformational history of rocks and sediments. By examining the orientation and intensity of foliation within a rock, geologists can gain insight into the type and direction of forces that were applied to the rock during its formation. In addition, foliation can be used to determine the grade of metamorphism that a rock has undergone, as well as its tectonic setting and geologic history. Overall, foliation is a critical aspect of geological study and provides valuable information about the processes that shape the Earth's surface. How does foliation occur? Foliation in geology can occur through a variety of processes, depending on the type of rock and the forces that are acting on it. Here are some examples of how foliation can form. Metamorphism. One of the most common causes of foliation in geology is metamorphism, which is the process by which rocks are transformed by heat and pressure over time. During metamorphism, the minerals within a rock can recrystallize and align in a parallel pattern, creating a foliated texture. The intensity and orientation of the foliation can provide clues about the type and intensity of the metamorphic process that the rock has undergone. Shearing or deformation. In some cases, foliation can form through the process of shearing or deformation, which occurs when rocks are subjected to horizontal or vertical pressure that causes them to bend or fold. As a result, the minerals within the rock can become aligned in a parallel pattern, creating a foliated texture. This type of foliation is often associated with faults, folds, and other structural features. Sedimentary processes. In some sedimentary rocks, foliation can form through the alignment of elongate grains or other sedimentary structures. For example, in a shale, the alignment of clay minerals can create a foliated texture. In addition, the layering or banding of different sedimentary materials can create a foliated texture. Magmatic processes. In some igneous rocks, such as gneiss or granite, Foliation can form through the alignment of mineral crystals during the process of cooling and solidification. This type of foliation is often associated with the formation of large plutonic bodies. Overall, foliation in geology is a result of the complex interactions between geological features, forces, and processes. By studying foliation, geologists can gain insight into the history and evolution of the Earth's crust, as well as the forces that shape the planet's surface. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.